Hey everybody, today I've got a 2017 BMW 530i with the 2 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged engine and we have a coolant leak over here and that is the top of the oil filter right there so I can pull this out there's the computer um, the oil filter oil cooler housings are made of plastic and metal but basically plastic uh, this is the second one I've kind of seen do this so I do believe the plastic has failed and the water is pouring out there's nothing else over here besides that so let me show you the part we got for it we got an all metal one this sits in there like this there's the oil filter housing and then it bolts to the block and as you can see right here it's got the rubber rubber like gasket seals here usually what happens on these is the inside breaks and then it starts leaking coolant really really bad so this has four bolt holes that hold it onto the side of the block so we are going to take this thing apart to get to it uh, I saw one person say you take the computer out and you can get in there and fish it out but this car here I don't think there's enough room we're gonna have to take the manifold off so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to I hate to do it on this car but we are going to get in here and we're going to disconnect the battery because we are gonna have to get the computer out so let me go ahead and get the computer disconnected and we'll get the, com the computer uh, excuse me let me get the battery disconnected then we'll get the computer disconnected and there's another say that you have to take this plastic piece out to get the manifold out not sure if we have to do that or not let's see get this come out of here but i might have to there we go might have to get back some, some of the bolts so i'll have to decide whether we have to take this out or not uh, the windshield washer stuff, wiper assembly area, sometimes you have to take out. Let me get the battery disconnected and get the computer disconnected and we'll start from there. So, so far I disconnected the battery. I went ahead and got this out of the way. I don't think I'm going to have to take this out. I think this, this car is cut differently than the one that I also saw. So we're working on the computer right now. So, um... I've made marks on all of the connectors so I know where they go. Let's see. So let me show you how to disconnect them. So this is number one right here. So to disconnect that, you push on this and then this clip comes back and it just lifts off. So I've got that pulled back. I've got all these disconnected. Then this also plugs into the computer with this wire harness and then this one runs down here so i got that all loose so i'm still working on trying to get this computer wire mess out of the way have other things to unplug like this wire here plugs into this one here uh, there's a lot of stuff to unplug so let's get all this unplugged so we can get this computer out and then i'll probably have to come back and take these two allen heads out to get this wire harness out of the way so still working on the computer try to get it out it's a bunch of wiring take pictures get your phone out and take pictures of where the wires all go all right well i got the computer out so the computer sits in there like that there is a 10 millimeter headed bolt here and a 10 millimeter headed bolt here. And then there's all sorts of wire connections. And uh, take it down. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six wire connections there. You've got one, two, three, four, five there. You've got wires that slide in here. And then you have wires that run through this. And then you've got a wire that clamps in over here. The thing broke. And then over here, uh, this unplugs so you can get all this wire over this white piece also plugs in there actually at the moment there is the oil filter housing that i have to change i am going to attempt to get in there and uh get to the bolts without taking the manifold off and see if i can get this thing out of here i can see two of the bolts from here so i might be able to sneak in here and get this thing out without making taking the manifold off 
we'll see what happens. I don't think I'm gonna film trying to get in there, but I'll come back if I get it out. Alrighty, so I got, took the computer out, like I said, and I'm trying to get the bolts out of this. So I was able to get the top bolt out and this one and this one out from the top. So now I've been working on this bolt at the bottom and this bolt you can't see. I even got my, uh, my bore scope out to try to get in there and look. It's impossible to see it. So what I just ended up doing, I don't know if I have enough light in there to show you. It's gonna have me enough light, probably not. There's another cooler. There is another cooler down here. Let me see if I can position this light to give you some light up here. How about like that? Well, anyway, there's that cooler there. So I was able to get the three screws out of this cooler, and now you can move it around. And if you look right there, see where my finger's pointing? That is the last bolt. I started to get it out without moving this, but I think it's gonna just be easier just to move it. Let me get my other flashlight out. So it's right there. It's uh, so hard to see. It's right there above that wire. I've almost got it out. So you're gonna have to take this other cooler loose. I'm not saying you have to take it completely out, but it'll at least get you some room so you can see what you're doing to get on that bolt. All right, so I got that last bolt taken loose by moving this other cooler out of the way, that cooler there. So there's one of the top bolts there, the other top bolt, the bottom bolt. So let's see now if I can just sneak this baby out of here. This AC line is kind of fighting me. I think I'm gonna need both hands, unfortunately, but I think it should come up through this hole. Um, let me get it out. Oh, I wanna show you getting it out of there though. So bad. I'm gonna need both hands, but I think now it'll come right out if you lay it on its side and get this one computer wire out. Let me come back when I get it out. Alrighty, I was able to sneak it out. I was gonna try to pull this hose off here to make it a little bit easier, but I can't get it unplugged. So I was able to finagle it around and I got it out. Here's the old one right here. Let me set this up on the workbench and I'll show you what happened. So here we are again. Once again, plastics do not belong in cars. I'll show you why right here. Let me get a, a pointer. So you have an O-ring that goes in here and you have this piece. Well, what happened is this piece is broken and the seal has herniated and it's just pouring. Can you see that? Right there. Let me go back to the car. The gasket, I guess, is still stuck on the car. Yep, gasket is still stuck on the car. And you can see where it's herniated in and broken center of the screen. Um, it's messed up. Let me pull that gasket out. I'll put it in the uh, old one and show you what happens. Here, let me get in here and I'll grab, grab it. There you go. And I'll grab the top one while I'm here. Okay. So here's the top gasket that goes in here. Goes in just like that. Here is the bottom gasket. And as you can see, what happens is the plastic breaks the plastic breaks and then this shoves gets shoved in i hope that's enough light it's kind of hard i don't know what's going on with the lighting today how about if i turn it up there that's a little bit better so you can see right here that this is the plastic is broken and it has pu pushed this in so 
there you have it. This thing is bad. So let me grab the new one and we'll make sure the new one made out of metal. You can see, yeah, right here, you can definitely see the difference. This is made out of metal. So this braking is never gonna happen again. And you can see, oh, look how, look how brittle it is. Or is this actually an insert? Oh, this is just an insert. Oh, look at that, look at that insert. It's just broken. And, and see how it just crumbled in my hands? See, the heat is just messing these things up. All right, everybody. Um, I have worked and worked and worked and worked on this, trying to get this out. It's been a real pain in the butt. Putting it together isn't gonna be much better. Um, we gotta get all the bolts started, make sure none of the gaskets fall out. I honestly think if we had the intake off, it really wouldn't have made much a difference. Uh, so let me get back in here and let me get this thing all back together. And once I get it all back together, I'll show you it running and not leaking anymore. But that's basically the gist of it. You can get it up through here if you take the computer out and move all the wire harnesses. If you can get this hose out here, it might give you a little bit extra room. But like I said, I'm scared I'm gonna break something so I didn't take that off. But I'll come back after I get it all back together and running because it's gonna take me forever to get all these bolts started. All right, we'll be back. All righty, it took me forever to get this thing bolted back up and all the bolts in it. Luckily, the bolts are not aluminum, they're steel. So on this aftermarket all metal one, the bolts don't stay retained in it. So I was able to use a magnet on a stick. So what I did is I got the very bottom bolt in first since I moved this other cooler out of the way. Once I got that one, uh, in and started then I was able to start the other three and like I said the original piece These bolts don't come out They're, They have an o-ring that retains them from falling out, but the new one does not have that Alrighty, so still working on it. I got all the bolts in and torqued down. It's supposed to be 10 to 12 Newton meters uh, very hard to get in here to do it, but I was able to do it without taking the manifold off. Let me get the computer and everything back in and the oil change done and I'll come back showing you car running and uh, that's how it looks. Alrighty, well we got it all back together. The new housing is in. I have the computer back in, all plugged in. You have to start here and plug all the connectors in one by one. And hey, you gotta make sure they're plugged in because some of them didn't plug in, they would look like they were plugged in or not. That's a very, very thing you gotta to pay attention to to make sure that you have these plugged in. Do they look like they're plugged in, but they're not. Got everything hooked up. Gotta put the shield back on here, shield back there. No leak, and we have fixed the BMW. Alrighty, everybody. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please subscribe. You can always see that in that corner down there. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my automotive videos. Please comment. Let me know what you think. And we will catch you on the next one.